Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to my fourth SPSS tutorial. Uh, in the first episode we uh, discussed how you start up SPSS and which options to select. In the second one we, uh, t t uh, we've taken a look at the data view, variable view, syntax screen and output screen. And in the third episode we've discussed the frequencies and descriptives. And this is the, I recommend watching these previous uh, videos if you haven't done so. And today we'll have a look at how to make charts and graphs. So if you've done a research and you're writing a research paper and you want to add a chart to your Word document or PowerPoint presentation, uh, how you can make them out of your data, of your variables. Uh, so you also do this at uh, frequencies, which we, we've discussed in episode three. So And this will be yeah, quite a, a small video, uh, a, a kind of short one, but it is a separate topic. So that's why I discuss it in an individual video. So you go to analyze, descriptive statistics, frequencies, then you select the variable you want uh, the graph of. So you can uh, choose, for example, household income. And then you don't go to statistics, but to charts. And you can choose which chart you want. For example, a bar chart or a pie chart or a histogram. And let's just, this time just choose a histogram and press continue. Then you press paste. Then you go to your syntax. You select the code and you run it. And you'll see that at the bottom, there's a histogram which shows the frequencies of all the different household incomes. Uh, and if you then press copy, uh, press a right mouse button, then you can copy it and you can just paste that into your Word document or PowerPoint presentation or whatever uh, type of document you're using. Um, and histogram uh, also has another option. If you go to descriptive statistics again and frequencies and then go to charts again, then you'll see that there's this box show normal curve on histogram. And if you select that and then press continue, and then press paste and go to your syntax again, select the code, press run. And you can see the same histogram, but it has a normal distribution line. Uh, this, uh, this line shows what uh, uh, a histogram should look like if a variable uh, is normally distributed. So we have a high, uh, so we have a maximum in the middle and lower values uh, near the left and right side. And uh, if you take a look at this variable, so the household income, it shows that in the middle there's a maximum and on the left side there's a decrease, so that's okay. But on the right side, so near the end, so the higher uh, levels of income, uh, the frequency rises again. So, and this is not according to the normally distribution uh, theory. So if the question would be, if, uh, so if the question would be, is this variable normally distributed or not? Your answer would be no, it is not. Um, so in this way, you can compare whether uh, a gra whether a histogram so and therefore a variable is normally distributed or not. Uh, so you can choose uh, a pie chart, a bar chart, and a histogram at frequencies. Uh, but there are more options. If you go to graphs and then legacy dialogues, you can over here choose uh, like a few more type of graphs. For example, a box plot, pie chart, area chart, line chart, bar chart. And if you then, for example, choose a line chart uh, and select a simple one uh, and then choose uh, with the category axis, you choose uh, uh, the variable you want. So I've selected household income for this case. And then you press paste, you go to your syntax again, and then you'll see the code for a, a simple line graph for Hink. Then you run it and then you'll see a line graph. Although uh, for this variable, this is not really accurate, so I would not recommend using a line graph, uh, a line graph for this variable. Um, and uh, yeah, that's how you use. That's how you make charts and uh, graphs in SPSS, and then you can select them and copy and paste that into whatever type of document you want. Uh, I hope everything has been clear. Uh, if you have a question, feel free to leave it in the comments down below, and I'll uh, take a look at them and try to answer them for you. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.